Ask Reddit by Maya Ledger. What's the best non-alcoholic way to make a party crazy and fun? Those trivia app games you can connect to your TV. Karaoke. Good snack. Mocktails. And good friends. Jackbox. Nerf guns. Yes. Or silly string. Or water balloons. Rent out go-karts. Jetsy, up, uh, go-karts. Walt, go-karts. What? Jetsy, yeah, there's a track, down by the Coliseum. It's pretty fun. Walt, no. Actually, I have some kind of a meeting, so. Jetsy, ah, whatever. Poor Jetsy. A bag of bulk wigs. Just discreetly place the bag of wigs on a couch or coffee table. Wait and watch. I can see how this plays out. Everyone's in another room or in the backyard, and Mike comes back from the bathroom with a tangled out of place dark wig on. Mike is now a Kardashian and now everyone is wearing wigs. I invited a few couples over, some of them pretty religious and don't drink, but we played adult Mad Libs. It was hilarious seeing them break out of their shells and just belly laugh at some of the things we all would come up with in that game. Simple party games are great for that. Also try apples to apples, snake oil, boulder dash, dixit, and cod hordes. It's good to have a couple of people that can inject some energy and fun into playing the games to encourage interaction. Greased Melon Bro I was a lifeguard at a summer camp and there was a greased watermelon competition. Basically rugby in a lake with a greased up melon but it got violent real quick. That was the first time I was legitimately worried I'd have to save someone. Some of the best adult parties I've been to are kids parties after the kids fall asleep. If you want to see adults playing like kids and laughing their asses off. Rent a giant bouncy slide and one of those carnival games with the spinning ladder. My team manager rented one for our office party one year. It was actually a horribly sad moment when I realized how much the integrity of my lungs and knees had declined since I was a child. On the brighter side, I was tenfold more impressed by a human doing a backflip than when I was a child. Let a few piglets loose in the house. Oddly specific but effective. Do a murder mystery night. Invite as many people as you know, get everyone all dressed in old garb, turn off the lights, murder Gary in the dark, then call the cops. Honestly these rules are so much simpler, and it eliminates the need for people to memorize a part or constantly read their character notes. Amazing. My first thought was, Bubbles. I want bubbles at my wedding. So fun. Games and good food. I was at a party recently where someone brought a game called Monkey Tail and okay we were drinking but even without alcohol we all would have been on the floor laughing. It's so ridiculous and fun. We were nearly in tears lol. Edit to add it's actually called, it's bananas. HTTPS colon slash slash www dot Amazon dot com slash bananas dash monkey dash game dash teams dash tipsy slash dp slash b07 xrb 167 b close bracket thanks use lerpo get a giant roll of blank paper like the back of wrapping paper and tape it to the back of the bathroom door hang a sharpie marker near it everybody who uses the bathroom gets to anonymously write graffiti make it themed like it has to be poems or for a good time call or as a host, don't say a word and see what happens naturally. When I was in college, we did this and some comments turned out to be effing insanely hilarious. Alternatively, some friends left some post-it notes and a pen in the bathroom and encouraged everyone to stick their haikus, haikus, to the back of the door. Some of them were insanely funny, you'd often see people coming out of the bathroom laughing. I can't recommend the Jackbox game series enough for this. Themed. Whether it's themed food, costumes, decor, 
doing something out of the ordinary helps. Edited to add, for those with friends unlikely to put the effort in make a low effort option available, cheap masks, silly hats if costumes. I'm hoping to hold a special occasion party soon. No specific theme. Just tell them this is their opportunity to pull that outfit out of their closet that they never get to wear because it's for special occasions. Cosplay they wore once to the con? Wear it. Fancy AF dress they got for a wedding? Wear it. That crazy suit they saw at the thrift store and just had to have? Wear it. It will also apply to food. Bring that food that's been on your Pinterest board forever and never been made. I'll pull out all the decorations I've made or bought for parties and put it out. And we'll use the good silverware and fancy serving dishes. Cards and board games. The one time we were on a tea shop my cousin brought a game. I think it's called Resistance if I remember correctly. That's still one of my fondest memories ever and we stayed at that shop until it closed at midnight. It's so good we didn't notice the time. Nerf Gun War. I'm talking Pillow Fort's team captains. Strategy. Stealth. The whole nine. Give the party non-alcoholic beer and not tell anyone. And watch the placebo effect run wild. Drugs. Survey says, drugs. The right type of people. People that can have fun without alcohol make alcohol free parties fun. You're right. Naturally crazy and fun people would make a naturally crazy and fun party. Karaoke machine. Or strip poker. Strip karaoke. Gotta build that confidence. Buy a rhythm game and make people play it. Hahaha <laughs> I used to play competition DDR but now I'm blind. But I've still got several songs memorized. That shit would be hilarious if I were at a party where only a few people knew me. Watch the blind lady hop up and say hold my beer. Then get an A on healing vision angelic mix on the heavy setting. We I sports. Music and games. Love some trivia or charades to loosen things up. Change the lights. Nothing kills the party vibe like bright overhead lights. Turn down the lights, set up some string lights, get a disco ball, swap out the bulbs in your lamps with colored bulbs. Just do something so that your living room says party and not living room. Step 1. Find the crappiest, cheapest horror movie possible. Step 2. Watch it for about 15 minutes then pause it. Step 3. List out all the characters you've seen and have everyone write down which characters they expect are going to die and in what order. Step 4. Unpause the movie. The person with the most accurate predictions wins. You'll get people shouting get her at the screen because they are banking on whatever person being killed off to win them the game. I did it with a friend while watching Thanks Killing and it was glorious. The Fauna Book Game. Put a fauna book on the floor, and two quarters, on opposite sides of the book, about a foot away. Now two players stand face to face on the book, and each one has to get one of the quarters without stepping off. Once everyone has a turn, add another book. Go until there's only one couple left. Oh, and you cannot get on the book with whoever you came to the party with. Super fun at Halloween parties, when everyone is in costume. Fauna book. In the olden days telephone service providers would print out a complete contact list for the whole town, bind it together in a thick book, and leave it on your doorstep. We called these fauna books. I'm confused how do two adults fit on a fauna book? They're like A4 sized right? Are they hugging each other tight even just to stay on? Hire a magician or a clown and add a pinnator and a mariachi band. Best party ever. Your friends will be talking about this for months. Hire a clown to be the pinnator while a mariachi band plays. Bad movies. Making fun of bad movies is always fun. The Room, Red Sonia, Samurai Cop 2. We also love Flash Gordon, 
which is an absolute masterpiece and I will hear nothing to the contrary. My family does this at Thanksgiving. Flip through the channels for a bad movie, commence MST 3000. Next level, find a hallmark movie, assign characters, and dub their lines in real time. You'll get the hang of it the entire channel is one plot line with Mad Libs. I was once told the secret to a good party, is food, a spot for people to hang out and chat and something to do, like an active TV. Sex. Solo or group? 